So lower limb joint compression for the plantar and the Babinski reflex. This movement is designed to increase the sensory awareness of the whole of the lower limb so the distal part of the foot can function better. So starting with the hip, so we flex the leg, place your hand on the knee, one hand under the bottom and then you push down and squeeze the hands in that pattern. So what we do is we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It can also be done with young children in sitting as long as their hip is at 90 degrees. The next one we're going to go to is the knee. So we hold the calf, hold the thigh, make sure the leg is straight and you push in. So again your hands are coming together. So we're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then the ankle. So place your hand, I'll do it on this foot because it's closer, place your hand underneath the ankle so you support it. Just stabilize the leg and push in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we come to the toes. So with the toes, we just want to be careful. So you position your thumb and index finger over the joint at the bottom of the toe. Take your other thumb and index finger and block the joint in the middle of the toe. So everything's nice and stable and straight. And then you just push in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go to the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You repeat that all for all toes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So what you do is you repeat that for each leg separately um, and each part has a repetition of 10.